Today is Monday, August 24th, 2020. We are on Math Lesson 6 today. Let's go ahead and begin with counting from 1 to 100. Ready? Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, Great job. Today, after our lesson, you will write your numbers 1 to 100 today, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. We are on math lesson 6 on today. Let's review our left and our right. <clears throat> so we say, here is my left hand, I'll raise it up high. Here is my right hand, I'll touch the sky. Left hand, right hand, roll them all around. Right hand, left hand, pound, pound, pound. Okay, left and right. Last week we also learned our number words from one all the way to 10. I'm just gonna show them to you and so you can say it as I Show it to you. Ready? Eight. <clears throat> Two. Six. Nine. Four. Seven. One. Ten. Five and three. I had to look at it because I didn't know the order. So yes, and three. Good job. I hope you read through those really quick, really fast. You had your quiz last week, and I'm sure you made an A. So let's go ahead and continue learning number words. We will learn 11 through 20 on this week. Okay? So these are a little different, especially 11 and 12 and 13 and 20 is a new number. But if you look at the rest of them, 14 and 19 and 18, if you remember how to read 44, this is 14. That T-E-E-N says teen. That's an easy thing about the teen numbers is that they all end with that teen. If you look, you can see they all have the teen at the end. And some of them are even easier because they have how to spell the regular number word in front of it. So 14 is like that. 16, 17, 18, and 19. The rest of them are a little different, but um, those may take a little extra practice to make sure that you remember those. So the first one is 11, E-L-E-V-E-N, 11, 12, T-W-E-L-V-E, -E, 12, 13, T-H-I-R-T-E-E-N, 13, 14, F-O-U-R-T-E-E-N, 14, 15, F-I-F-T, 
T-E-E-N, 15, 16, S-I-X-T-E-E-N, 16, 17, S-E-V-E-N-T-E-E-N, 17, 18, E-I-G-H-T-E-E-N, 18, 19, N-I-N-E-T-E-E-N, 19, and 20, T-W-E-N-T-Y, 20. Those are your number words, 11 through 20. You do not have to write them, but I would like you to practice them every day this week because why? We have a quiz on these on Thursday. So please be sure to study them, to practice them, so that you're prepared for the test on Thursday. Next thing we will move on to are shapes. I'm sure you're familiar with both of these shapes. You know which one is which. So let's go ahead and put a name to them. The first shape we call a circle. I hope that's what you said, a circle. Circle. So whenever we have a circle, we want to identify how many sides and how many angles we have in a circle. Let's look at sides. A circle is a different kind of shape because there are actually no sides. Everything is curved in a circle, so there are no sides. So when it, whenever the question asks how many sides are in a circle, you will say zero. Zero means none because there aren't none. They're curved, so there are no sides. Next question asks how many angles are in a circle. An angle is a corner of a shape. It's the corner. And again, circles are curved round and round. There are no angles, there are no corners in circles. So again, you would put zero. Circles have zero sides and zero angles. Again, circles have zero sides, zero angles. <clears throat> Next shape is a square. I hope that's what you said, square. Okay, square. Okay, so let's talk about the same thing that we did with the circle. We know a square is like a box, you know, usually a room. Okay, a lot of different things we can say that are squares. Now the question asks us, how many sides does a square have? Remember, a circle had none because it was curved. Squares are not curved. So how do we count sides? We count each line that it took to make the square. So this was one line we took, this line, this line, and that line. How many lines did it take for us to create a square? Four. One bottom, side, top, other side. So there are four sides in a square. A square has a total of four sides. Next, the question says, how many angles are in a square? Again, angles mean the corner. A corner is this little area here between two places. A corner is where two lines meet. So if I'm like going this way, wherever the lines meet one another is called a corner. If you're in a room, if you look at the wall going this way and the wall going that way, the corner is the part where they meet one another, okay? An angle is a corner, it's where they meet. Squares do have angles, we can see. If a shape has sides, it will have angles as well. Okay, this is how you mark an angle. You put this little curve here in between them to show that that's a corner. So I'll, I draw a little curve line here from this side to that side. Now it's not big, it's small. It's just gonna be right in that corner. You don't have to, it, it, can't, it, it can't be like this. That's, not correct. So just make sure when you are marking an angle in your math book that it's small like that, okay? So that's one angle. We have another corner right here because this line meets this line. I'm going to do a curve here. Two angles. There are more. This line meets this line. So I'm going to do that again. And then this line meets this line. So I'm going to mark it again. And that's it. How many angles would that be? Four. So a shape, a square has four sides and four angles. 
Four sides, four angles are in a square. A circle has zero sides and zero angles, and a square has four sides and four angles, okay? That is our math lesson today, pretty easy. We reviewed our number words 11 all the way to 20. We reviewed our left and right, and we learned how many sides and angles are in circles and in squares. Today in your workbook, you are completing page 6A. Also, you are writing your number words from 1 to 100. I'm sorry, not number words. You're writing your numbers from 1 to 100. Okay? Again, today's work page, assignments to do after you complete the, after you watch the video of the lesson, you will do 6A in your workbook. And you will write your numbers 1 to 100. That's our math lesson for today.